Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna try to answer the question, why is AP Biology so hard? Well, in my last video, how to get a five on the AP Biology exam, I actually went on a little bit of a rant about this, so I'm gonna take some footage I cut out from that video to make it shorter and add it into this video here. But first, I wanna go over some of the basics for why AP Biology is considered one of the most difficult AP courses. And if you wanna see also my tier list ranking of all the AP Science courses, you can go ahead and check that out in another video. I'll link it in the description below. Getting that elusive five on the AP Biology exam is actually more challenging than it seems for a lot of students. Why is this? Well, there is a lot to memorize on the AP Biology exam. It just ends up being a lot of content. You're going to have to know things all the way from pieces of evidence for common ancestry and evolution and endosymbiosis to systems and feedback and parts of photosynthesis and cellular respiration all the way up to disruptions that humans have on the environment. So even though you feel like you might have been a good student in biology, when you get to AP Biology, you're looking at things at a much higher level and starting to see things that you might have never seen before, like black operons for example. So memorizing all this new content and understanding the breadth of all of it can be a little difficult. Then going beyond memorization, a lot of the exam actually focuses on application of content, not just rote memorization. So even though you may know all of the things and in inputs and outputs of cellular respiration, for example, knowing that ATP synthase is a proton pump at the end of the cellular respiration process is not enough. You're going to have to know, for example, what would happen if all of a sudden the membrane in the inner mitochondrial membrane was disrupted and you no longer have that proton gradient. What's going to happen to cellular respiration in that case? Well, you'll have to apply your knowledge to that situation and in many other situations on the AP Biology exam. And finally, you may have to explain or justify concepts or put things in context. So you're going to have to be looking at a lot of experimental data. You're going to have to look at a lot of graphs, interpret graphs, maybe even design your own graphs if you're doing a hard copy version of this exam. This requires you to know a lot about biology, be able to apply it in context, and then explain what is going on or justifying why in particular scenarios. This is not the easiest for a lot of students, and really honing in on those explanations is something that's going to make a student really successful on the AP Biology exam. Another thing that that is difficult with AP Biology. I already mentioned the breadth of content, knowing a lot of things all the way from the micro level all the way up to the macro level. You're also going to have to know how to do a lot of different skills on the exam. I mentioned justifying and explaining, creating graphs, visualizing certain processes, but you're also going to have to apply certain math skills, statistical analysis, looking at population data, population math, knowing how to do a chi-square analysis, knowing how to create an experimental design. All of these things draw on a lot of different disciplines, all the way from thinking about ethical components of a particular biotechnology technique all the way up to applying your knowledge for pieces of evidence from evolution. These aren't just things that you need to know. These are things that you need to do with data and apply to the context. So beyond that, AP Biology does involve a lot of reading, college level reading, and there's a large amount of it as well as labs too. So thinking about all of this, you're going to actually have to be doing a lot outside of class as well as inside of class. Actually going to have to work a lot outside of class in order to do well in this course. So even though the AP Biology exam is extremely extremely popular. Over 230,000 students took the exam last year. Not a lot of students get a five. There is a higher pass rate than some of the other exams, so a good chunk of students get a three or higher, but getting that five is a little bit more challenging. So let's hear a little bit more about why. So AP Biology is notoriously one of the toughest exams to get a five on. If you look at the score distributions from the past few years, in 2020, only 9.5% of all of the students taking the exam actually earned a five. In 2020, the the test was a little bit weird because it was the year it was a reduced test. It was totally online because of COVID. So let's look at 2019. In that year, only 7.1% of students, of all students taking the exam, ended up giving a five. Compare that to physics C, statistics, even computer sciences. All of those exams have five rates that are nearly double that of AP Biology. So why do they make this test so hard? AP Biology is one of the most popular AP exams. Over 230,000 students took the test last year, and a lot of colleges colleges and universities know that students are going to want to come into their programs and use that AP score credit 
for credit as a college biology course. College biology is also notoriously one of the most difficult entry level freshman classes. A lot of times it's used as a weed out class for the large number of students that come into a college program and want to go into pre-med. The course covers a huge amount of content and college level bio 101 classes are meant to be difficult, challenging, rigorous to make sure that the students who want to continue on in a study of biology or medicine or research are going to be exposed to the level of difficult biology content that they might see later down the road. Now, I may not agree with this approach as far as weeding out students when it comes to college level biology, but I do know that the College Board has wanted to make the exam as challenging and as relevant as possible to a college level biology course. Now they've actually pared down the content by a lot in the past few years as they've redesigned the exam to focus more on science practices, critical thinking strategies, and applying scientific knowledge, but that still means the test isn't easy. In fact, a lot of students find it more challenging because instead of just memorizing loads and loads of information, now they have to actually apply it in the context of scientific experiments, interpret graphs, create their own experimental designs, visualize information, that kind of thing. All this to say, this course and this test are supposed to represent what you would take in not only a Bio 101 class, but a Bio 101 lab, and potentially another class on top of that. If you get a five and you go to UNC Chapel Hill, you could use your AP Biology five score to replace Bio 101, Bio 101 lab, Bio 279, and Bio 279 lab. That counts for eight college credits, which if you equate to dollars in credits, turns out to be thousands of dollars. So a lot of students want to do really well on this exam, but the College Board does not make it easy. Lastly, knowing that this course is really challenging and difficult, what can you do to prepare? Well, I've got a lot of resources on this channel that you can go ahead and check out if you're interested in preparing and doing well on that AP Biology exam, and not just doing well, but getting that elusive five. First of all, I really recommend checking out how to make an AP Biology study plan, then finding out exactly what's on the exam as far as content goes, so you don't waste your time studying content you don't need to know, making sure you do that fast AP Biomath review so you know all of the equations that you'll need to be able to use on the AP Biology exam and make sure you check out my video that this one came from which is how to get a five on the AP Biology exam. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested go ahead and subscribe. I'll post more content like this in the near future leading up to the exam. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and thanks so much for watching.